Plastic in oceans has reduced. Deforestation is slowing. Fewer animals are being eaten. Global terror attacks have fallen. The otter has made a comeback from near extinction. The sound of my husband's keys in the door. The train pulling into Leicester Station. The train pulling into St Pancras. My friends in the pub. My friends at the end of the phone. My blind, toothless, incontinent dog. Always. Anyone's dog. Always. My Thursday morning poetry group. The end of a run. Cheese. Red wine. Undeserved, hangover-free Saturday mornings. Birds on the feeder. Unexpected parcels in the post. Writing a new poem for the first time in 18 months and all it took was a Tory landslide. <laughs> Poems written by kids who tell you they can't write poetry. Poems written by angry men who tell you they hate poetry. Guilt-free days off. Guilt-free anything. Working from home. Not working at home. The end of a show with no mistakes, a rowdy audience, a pub theatre, board games with few instructions, new notebooks, nice pens, massive dinners, flowers, tea lights, roaring fires, good pubs after long walks, unanticipated lefties. Seagulls by the sea where they are meant to be, not in my back garden in the Midlands. Bed socks, goggle box, Friday nights. Sunday sushi discounts at Little Tokyo, weeknight trips to the cinema, vegan tipping, colossal mugs of tea, people who have no idea how good they are, people quietly making brilliant art, people who do not believe in the phrase guilty pleasures, EastEnders, Ben Mitchell from EastEnders, kindness, kindness that asks for nothing back. Kindness when it is inconvenient. Kindness in the middle of the night when there are no clear solutions. 